Hey, this is Eric coming at you with the Jumpstart Workout of the Week, the Spartan Workout. If anybody who's seen the movie 300, there's a, there's a popular workout associated with it. Unfortunately, it's a pretty intense workout, so not everybody can handle it. So we've modified it just for you Jumpstart participants for different levels of um, participants. So we're going to go through each exercise. And there's a different format than your traditional workouts for this, for this, type, of, this type of program. So you're going to do one exercise for 50, 25 reps, whatever reps it is, but you're going to keep going until you get all the reps you need for that exercise. So the first exercise you're gonna do is if you're a beginner, you're gonna do what's called a TRX row. You're gonna grab a TRX and you're sitting back here on your heels, arms straight, toes up, and you're gonna pull with your shoulder blades, pull your elbows to 90 degrees, come all the way straight with your elbows. You're gonna go 50 of these. Now here's the format for this workout. Let's say I'm a beginner and I'm doing TRX rows. I get to 20 and I'm fatigued out. I'm going to stop, rest about 10 to 30 seconds, not a lot of rest, and I'm going to continue on until I get to 50 reps. So it might take me three, four, maybe four different little sets to get to 50 reps, but I'm going to keep going until I've gotten 50 reps, and I'm just going to rest 10 to 30 seconds between however many I can do in each little cluster. So that's going to be how you do each exercise. So the other exercise for beginners and intermediates is going to be pull-ups. Now, if you're, if you're a... Uh, if you're uh, uh, not strong enough to do a pull-up on your own, which most people aren't, you're going to make sure, and, and you can put the band on, or if you're a member of a health club, you can use the assisted machine. Just make sure it's a weight that's challenging. You're going to start here, shoulder blades are going to pull down and in, elbows to the back pockets. So coming down, Show off. elbows to the back pockets. You want your elbows to hit back here, use your upper back to lift you up. If you need help with it, setting up the band, when you come in, let your trainer know. He can show you how to do the assisted versions of those. Uh, that's number. That's your first exercise, either TRX rows or pull-ups. Number two, we're going to do goblet squats. I think everybody's probably done these, but we're going to do 50 of these. If you're a begin, uh, advanced, but we're going to come down, elbows in, down, elbows in. Keeping this tight to the chest, keep your elbows on your thighs, weight on your heels, coming up. Once again, just to reiterate the format, let's say I get 25 and I'm pooped. I'm going to set this thing down, rest 10 to 30 seconds, knock out as many more as I can until I get 50 reps completed. That's goblet squats. So 30 for beginners, 40 for intermediates, 50 for advanced. Um, then good old fashioned push ups, number three, just a little push up form. We're going to start hands a little wider than shoulder width. Keep your legs really strong. Keep your uh, core tight, your whole body's right. You come down, pinch your shoulder blades, stop, push up, stop, push up. Make sure you don't do the chicken neck. Your neck stays back. You're on your knees if, you're, if you have to do them this way. Or with some of, you, some of you people, you can start off, do as many as you can off your knees and then do the rest on your knees. That's another way we've done these in the past. You're gonna do, if you're a beginner, you're gonna do 30. If you're an intermediate, 40. If you're advanced, I want to see 50 push-ups out of you. Uh, the next exercise we're going to do is a deadlift. So we're going to use a bar. So I'm going to take a bar over here. Cammy's Cammy's doing a good job. <laughs> over on your grip with your hands. That, that means that will keep your forearms and grip from wearing out. I'm going to start here, shoulders back, chest up. I'm going to lead with my hips. I'm going to hinge my hips back. Eyes are going to look down, weights on the heels. I'm going to pull up and squeeze my butt. Down, up, squeeze my butt. Shoulders back, up and squeeze my butt. So I want to be lifting through the hips, not through the lower back. I'm not going to round my back. I need to use my hips back and forward and squeeze at the top. That's your deadlift. You're going to, from the deadlifts, you're going to transition into wipers. So wipers, you want to get underneath the bar here. Make sure you set the handles wherever you're at to a height where you can wrap the bar and unwrap it. You start here. You're going to come down, make a windshield wiper motion. One time down and back is one rep. So there's one. There's two. So keep your back, lower back nice and tight, and you're only going to go down as far as you can keep the tension in your abs. If you feel your lower back, you're going down too far. So that's what a wiper looks like. The next thing we're going to do is from there we're going to go box jumps. So you can, you can use a wider box or a plyo box or, you can just, or a stair. We're just going to drive our, our arms back from 
jump up, jump down under control, up, down on the balls of our feet. And the best thing about doing plyometrics, you got to do the best seen, not heard. So they got to be quiet. Don't, you don't want to sound like an elephant running around on these things. So be trying to be light on your feet, even if that means a lower box. So this is what you're going to do is just make sure you're light on your feet. Once again, not landing really hard. Use as big of a box or step as you need. Um, like you said, you can come in here and use. We've got a variety of ones here in the studio. Um, the next thing we're going to do is either for beginners, you're going to do it with a push press. Taking your dumbbells right here, you're going to push your hips back, drive, drive, drive. And I would say use something that's, um, you know, maybe like 8 to 15 pounds, depending on your strength level. You're going to get your hips driving in your shoulders. So this is a total body exercise, driving with your hips. If you're uh, intermediate to advanced, you're going to do a clean and press with the bar. So, you're going to start the bar here, hands rolled under, hips bent, your first move is going to be, you're going to just jump this thing up, here, rack it here, drive, back down, right here, drive it over your head. So there's two little squats, cleans are a little bit more challenging, that's why they're putting them up for intermediate advance. I'm going to use my hips and kind of pull this in tight here like this, snap my arms over here, drop my hips, push it overhead. Down. This one's that you don't need a lot of weight. The bar, if you're a little bit stronger, maybe a five pound. I need to, this is a high technique drill, so don't worry about using a lot of weight. This one will gas you. And then once again, if you get done, uh, when you get done, you go back to the original exercise, pull-ups or TRX rolls. Pull-ups for intermediate and advanced, TRX rolls for beginners. You want to, once again, just to reiterate, knocking out as many reps as you can until you get to the prescribed number of reps for your level, okay? I would encourage you, if you're, if you're not familiar with some of these exercises, get your trainer to show you how to do a couple of them. Maybe meet up with before you start the workout if you're going to come in here and do the workout. Or schedule a time, maybe it's 10 or 15 minutes, to go through some of the technique and some of these things if you're not comfortable with the technique. We try to keep these as basic as possible, but this is an awesome workout. You could keep this as a kind of a go-to if you don't have a lot of time. It should be done in about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, but you're going to feel it. It's, it's challenging. It's a great express workout. Have fun with it. We'll see you next week.